Oh, uh, today? Every day. Every day. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Just jumping in off. Yes. Because um, one of the main questions we all want to know is, since you've been away for six years, when you reunite with Clark, mm. what, can you get to use anything about that reunion at all? I mean, I, I can say it will happen in a, in a place where you don't think it's going to happen, in terms of a location where, where it's going to happen. But it's a... Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I don't think that I can say too much for it. I think there was a reason they excluded that from the trailer, so there's probably a reason I should keep my mouth shut then. Yeah. How is outer space for you? Yeah, it's quite good, you know, up there with six other people. But, um, yeah, it's kind of funny, you know, coming back and shooting the show and the character has had six years to develop and they've, they've definitely worked on him throughout in the writer's room and then for me to come back six months later, still feeling like I was going to play the same character and end up playing, like, someone quite different. You know, so, yeah, it's kind of, I, for me to wrap my head around, it's taken a little bit of time, or took a little bit of time, seeing as we've finished shooting. So I, I, I got there in the end, I think, I hope. <laughs> um, I mean, so, I, from the trailer, you can see that Octavia's, like, definitely taking a turn in, in a certain direction, and Clark has got Maddie, um, and... I mean, Bellamy, having spent six years with uh, Monty, Harper, Echo, who else? Maury, Murphy, Raven, you know, they all have had to take on a role in order to keep them from going, like, going crazy up there, but also to keep the ship running and all that kind of stuff. So there's, a, there's I, I guess we're calling it Space Crew, you know. Uh, so this, Space Crew is kind of like this new family unit for all of those guys. So that's something that comes into play quite a lot for... A, my character, um, you know, there's also Abby and Kane and Jaha and everyone else that is uh, in the bunker, and yeah. So the, and then you throw in the new Allegis people as well. So then there's a whole bunch of other, a like, whole gambit of things to deal with right there. So yeah. And we know there's going to be some flashbacks. So what has what has everyone been up to in space? I mean, have they been looking for a cure? Have they been using their time productively? I think that. I don't know if they're, like, I don't know how productive they can be, but, you know, I think they, they spend a lot of time, like, training. Um, I can say that, uh, I think Bellamy has learned a fair amount of trig. So, um, I mean, you know, there's, there's two grounders up there and he might as well learn. And there's a lot of combat training and cleaning. Bellamy used to be a janitor, so <laughs> there's a lot of that going on. Can you give us a line of some grounders? Oh, no, not without giving anything away, really. I'm sure there's people out there that know it off by heart. And so then I'll, uh, I'll end up saying something I shouldn't say. And also, you know, that's just me, like, deflecting. I, I don't remember them. Fair enough. <laughs> it's not an easy language. It's, it's kind of tricky, you know, when... I mean, I hats off to everyone else who's been doing it for four seasons. You know, I'm Johnny Come Lately and uh, stuff it up pretty quickly, so, yeah. And have you got any of Bellamy at... Any of Clark's messages at all? Uh, I don't know if, like, I, I don't think that he did. I didn't play it like he had. Right. Um, yeah. Actually, no. Yeah. yeah. As an actor, what has been the biggest surprise or challenge for you Well, it's, yeah, the six year time jump. And so the writers' room came, got in early, I think, this season. And they, you know, really kind of attacked the characters and pulled them apart and put them back together. And that was the thing. But Bellamy's more of a mediator than a, an enforcer than he had been in previous seasons. So for me, playing a character that I thought I knew so well, you know, it turns out that, like, I just had... I hadn't developed this six-year time jump in my, in my hiatus, you know. I you know, probably should have done more <laughs> more work or something like that. But, uh, yeah, that the, the part of Bellamy that was, like, the aggressive enforcer is nowhere near as apparent as it used to be so that was a bit of a you know like a, a readjustment that i had to have in my own head in terms of playing him but you know his core values are still the same um but just how he expresses those are a, a tweak so you know trying to find a path back to who he was and i think i i kind of i i started watching season one again and went back to um i think the episode's my sister's keeper where you see him as an older brother and so i try to bring that part of Bellamy back into into the character. Yeah. Because we see in the teaser that there seems to be distance like literally between Octavia and Bellamy when they reunite. Mm -hmm. And is that was that something that sort of symbolic of how their relationship is going to be? Because it has been you know, a long time for them to be apart. Um 
Well, I'm not too sure which bit you in the trailer you mean, but there is definitely a bit in the trailer where I, I beat her up. Uh, and that's kind of more symbolic of, of where the relationship sits, I guess. But, you know, it's she's still his sister, and that's the one thing that has kind of given him hope in that six years in space. I mean, he thinks Clark's dead, and he just hopes that his sister is alive. So he has this... Whether it's it's healthy or not, it's just grown such a, an attachment to Octavia and being away from her that, you know, maybe it blinds him from other other aspects of what is actually happening. But it's uh that is the relationship that he holds most dear, I believe. Yeah. So this season, I know you can't really reveal too much, mm -hmm. but who do you think who can you tell us who is your new best friend? with this upcoming season. So I know you guys were on the ship for the whole six years, yeah. and they weren't people that you were necessarily super close with. Yeah, well, I mean, up to this ship. yeah, well, like I, I can say that I, um, uh, Monty and Bellamy uh, become quite close, you know, and I think that they both bond over their own grief uh, for having lost their friends, you know, with Bellamy thinking Clark is dead and uh, Jasper obviously passing away. I think Monty and Bellamy, it's, it's explored quite a lot this season, which is really nice. I get to work with Chris quite a lot, and, um, and they have an honest and very uh, vulnerable relationship. So that's the uh, that's the relationship that I really was excited about as well, without giving too much away, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Pardon me. We both have cold. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.